friends, welcome back or welcome to my video series where I am unboxing a palette's worth of shoes from the company Jomar. It is a five part series. This is number four. So we are nearing the home stretch. We started with 14 boxes and we are down to five. I can't even believe it. Today I'm going to be revealing what is in three more of these boxes. I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited to see what's inside. So let's just jump right into it. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Soul Inspired Seller. If you don't know me, my name is Nicole Wills and I am a full-time nurse leader. I have two small children and I love to take a lot of my additional time and use it to grow and invest in my reselling business, which is part-time on multiple platforms. And that's really what my channel is all about. I love sharing my journey with you guys and learning from you guys as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, I do put out content just about every single week. Please consider subscribing and make sure you ring the notification bell so you get notified any time I release a new video. And if you appreciate the time it took for me to put this content together, if you could quickly smash that like button and make sure you're leaving comments below. I love to talk to you guys that way. It not only helps me, but it helps to get my content out to other resellers who might have the same questions or could value from it as well. If you are new here, a big welcome to you. No worries at all. If you're coming in, this is part four of five of this series, but it is is not meant to be consecutive. I will be linking the playlist below and it will pop up at the end of this video. If you want to go back to video one or watch the whole series in video one, I do take a little bit more time and tee up and go into detail of how this came to be my thoughts on the company, Joe Mar, et cetera, et cetera. So as a brief high level overview or recap, for those of you that have been watching, this is a palette's worth of shoes from the company, Joe Mar. I was promised 400 pairs of pre-loved shoes and the description said they could be mall brands, mid-tier brands, all different kinds of seasons and occasionally premium. I will say I have gotten some premium in previous boxes but those were not promised to me and the description is very similar to that of Thread Up Rescue boxes where you may have to put some TLCs. The overall description I knew and I expected to get some flawed items. What I don't expect is items that are non-salvageable. Out of the unboxing that I I've done so far. I think I only had one or two pairs, one for sure. Um, and it wasn't anything that was glaring unsalvageable and could have been missed. It, it was a shoe that was missing a strap. So in total, I paid $1,034. That does include shipping. And the shipping for me guys was only $48. So my cost of goods equals out to $2.58 per pair of shoes. My overall plan and my general rule of thumb is that I'm going to automatically plan on listing anything that I expect will bring me $20 in profit or more after cost of goods is backed out and platform fees. There are some caveats like the people have been watching, you know, I've been pulling out all the Crocs. They might not make me $20 in profit, but I like selling Crocs. There are just some things that I've pulled out that have been aesthetically pleasing and I want to photograph. That brings me joy that I will put time into and list. But overall, those items that I suspect won't bring me $20 or more will either go to buy sell trade flip or consignment and in the next video the summary video I'm going to break down what I am doing with what not each individual piece but numbers wise and my overall review of this palette and then I will have a box and I'll start pulling my boxes in this one over here will be for donation I'm going to move a box here that's going to be my listing box buy sell trade I'm calling it my somebody else will sell for me box and then I've been creating a pile of stuff that I still need to read research and I'll be popping information up on the screen while I'm editing this video. Okay guys, let's get into this. All right, while I'm opening this, I just want to give my disclaimer that I give with all my mystery box unboxings. Guys, this palette 
Um, I say I'm buying a pallet. It is a pallet's worth, but it is a giant mystery box or mystery boxes. I really had to look at my business and assess the level of risk that I could and I was willing to take. And so I am by no means telling you to go out and buy a giant pre-loved pallet of shoes from Jomar or any other company. I'm simply sharing my experience with you. If you are thinking of purchasing any mystery boxes, small or big, just make sure you're assessing your own business and able to assume whatever level of risk it brings because if it is a mystery box, there is some level of risk. With that, in full transparency, I do have an affiliate code with Joe Mar. If you see aspects of this haul that you like and you want to try Joe Mar, whether it is a smaller pack or a larger pack, maybe you are a seasoned reseller or you're in a place where you feel like you could take a larger amount of risk, use my code Soul Inspired and you can get 10% off your first order. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I see something I like here. Okay, guys, there's going to be a lot of zip ties. I'm just, if this is your first time watching. So first I'm going to pull out, it's a pair of coach sneakers. They look to be in decent condition. They look like they came from some type of secondhand or thrift environment. They do have pink stickers. And I know throughout my other boxes, I've seen some of these pink stickers. I'm not actually sure where Joe Mar gets their inventory. So overall, these look to be in decent condition. I will pop these in my Poshmark closet and Crossless just because it is the brand Coach. However, one thing I have noticed, at least in my business, is that Coach bags for me are fire. They sell like fire. I make a lot of profit from Coach bags. I love selling Coach bags but the shoes or anything else coach related does tend to sit. Now I have sold a couple boots that sold for a higher amount and really I did well, but um, coach sneakers, loafers, those types of things, they do sell, but they tend to sit and maybe not sell for as much as uh, one would think. I want to tell you guys the sizes on these. So the coach sneakers are an eight and a half and it's the Jane, J-A-Y, or maybe it's Jamie. J-A-Y-M-E. Yes, it's the Jamie, not the Jane. Jamie. All right, so this is a brand I have not heard of, but they feel like really quality flip-flops. They're like a really thick material. They're not flimsy at all. I-P-A-M-E-M-A, -M -M maybe. I'll, I'll look this up and pop it up on the screen. That's the brand right there. It's imprinted. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these because I've not heard of the brand. I can't imagine flip flops are going to bring me a lot, but uh, these are a size eight slash nine US. So I'll pop up information on the screen once I find out more about that brand. All right, here's a cute little pair of shoes. This is just a cute little pair of Michael... It's Michael Michael Kors, so I think that might be a little bit lower tier, but I've still sold that brand. I don't always pick up Michael Kors, unless it's a bag, but these are in just excellent condition. They're super cute. It is like a cutout pump. These are a size six and a half. I don't know if these were ever, they might have been worn like one time. I do see some darkening on the soles, but I don't know how much they were worn outside. They really don't look like they were. And I'm trying to see, I'm guessing these are real patent leather, but I am not seeing, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, they are leather. So yeah, I'll be listing these. Oh, there's a thing on the bottom. Yeah, the uppers are leather. Sometimes it's not so obvious. These are just cute. So I will definitely be listing these. All right, not a bad start, right? All right, guys, this box is really tangled together, like super tangled together. So this is the brand International Concepts. I could leave that, but I'm trying to cut these off as I go so I'm not left with a mess at the end. You know, efficiencies. International Concepts, they do have a little bit of dust on them, but overall they're in great condition. Uh, this is, it's all man-made. It's the Kiva. It's a nine and a half. So I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. I just need to clean them, dust them off a bit, it looks like. Let's see what these are. Okay. All right. Here is a little pair of Franco Sardo booties. They are, they look to be at first sight in excellent condition. They zip in the back. They are a size eight and a half. They look like they're barely worn at all. 
I am going to assume they are real leather and they are. So I don't always pick up Franco Sardo. It's pretty plentiful at my Goodwills, but because these are real leather in excellent condition, I will put these in my box to list. Why not? They're cute. I feel like booties like that never go out of style. All right. This box is kind of mangled together. I wish you guys could see it. All right. Sam and Libby. I feel like I've heard of that brand before. I don't I don't think it has a high retail or resale value. These are cute though, no doubt. I feel like my buy sell trade would definitely take these. So, uh, let's see, there are seven and a half. They don't feel like real leather. I don't think they are, but I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. They're cute though. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, I feel... I feel like I'm seeing repeats of shoes I've gotten before. All right, these look cute. They're a little worn, but overall not too bad. They look like they need a brushing. So this is a little pair of Coach loafers. The bottoms look great. They look like they've been bounced around a lot <laughs> and they just need a little bit of a brushing down. But yeah, they're leather lined. This is the Frederica, Federica, and they are a size eight and a half. They're my size, which I think these are super cute, but you guys know I always say it's my size and then I never keep anything. So these are in good enough condition. I would list them as gently used and I'm gonna pop them in my Poshmark closet and cross list. All right, what is this? Oh, Aldo, Aldo. You guys probably laugh when I say that because I feel like I never say it right. Here is just a little pair of Aldo ballet flats. Nothing to write home about. I am guessing they are real leather. They are a size eight. I'm probably gonna put this in my box for somebody else to sell for me. I generally don't sell that brand. Now, if I got a pair of like real leather boots, I might take the time to put into them, but I, I really don't pick that brand up purposefully. All right, here is the brand Restricted, which is a cheaper brand. Does not have a great resale value for me. These are a, this is interesting. They have a man-made upper, but a leather sock. Like, why would you do that? Just make them all leather. All right, they are size seven and a half. So I will pop these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. I don't know though, because they are so, they're kind of just like really, kind of plain and blah. I'm not sure anybody will take those, but we will try. We will try. All right, here is a pair of pumps. I do not see the brand just yet. Ooh, more rubber bands in this one. Oh, it's another pair of Michael Kors. These have a little bit more wear than the other ones. There is a little bit of wear on the heel cap. I feel like these just need some love. Like they've been rubber banded. Sometimes it's hard for me to see in the light, but the bottoms look great. There's a little bit of wear in the heel caps. So I'm probably going to, I don't even know if these are like Michael Michael Kors. I think they are. But I think that I will probably put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me, but I might end up listing them. Not sure yet. Oh, and those were a size nine. If I start to like forget uh, same sizes, I, I do get comments. So thank you guys for reminding me. I am uh, far from perfect. So this is a pair of Gap uh, flats. They are a size eight. I can tell they are man-made. So I will just give these a wiping or a brushing and put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. Ooh, these look interesting. A pair of driving moccasins. I see made in Italy, I think. So this is Mercanti and Florentini, made in Brazil, actually. They look all leather, including leather lining. They are size nine. They do have a style number. Um, I'm guessing that I'll end up listing these, but I am going to put these in my research pile. Look at the bottoms. They're in excellent condition. I'm gonna put these in my research pile and be popping information up on those, but I'm not sad about them. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, guys, I feel like I said this name wrong. I got a pair of these 
in my first video and I thought it was Suprega, but I think it's Suprega. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody save me. I'm going to have to look it up, but it's uh, versus Versace. Interesting. So these aren't in like pristine condition. They've had some wear, but yeah, it says Times Versace. So that's really interesting. They're fun, of course. It looks like I just need to take a good magic eraser around the outsole. I will likely sell these, but I'm gonna put them in my research pile because I feel like since they are a collaboration with Versace, I need to look into these a little bit further. So I will be doing that. And there is no laces, and sometimes I know shoes are laceless, but like, the tongue is not secured, you know? So I think these are supposed to have laces too, which would be easy for me to pop in, but those are definitely gonna need some TLC for sure. Okay, here is something, my first donation of the day. I hope these aren't worth anything. It's a brand I have never heard of. It is Unif, Unif. It is a men's size six, women's size seven and a half. They are a canvas upper and they are just, they're just kind of gross. So <laughs> I'm going to pop them over and to donate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, next here, we have a pair of Aldo. They are just a chunky platform sandal. Let's see here. They do, I love the style of these actually. So these are, let's see, it doesn't say whether they are real leather. It just says made in Tunisia. These are a size eight. Um, they do have quite a bit of dust, uh, or I don't really know what it is on the outsoles, but that could easily be taken care of with a magic eraser. So I'm probably gonna put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. Uh, I probably still won't put the time <laughs> into selling them, uh, but I do think I can clean them up and it will take me minimal work to get them to that point where somebody else might accept them. I do like the style. This is a pair of Dr. Scholl's. Uh, they are in a pretty beat up condition. They do have a leather upper. I guess I have never really paid attention to this brand. I think it's more of a comfort brand, right? Uh, these are a size seven and a half. The outsoles are just so dirty on these. I am... I'm just not super feeling them. The bottom, the tread is quite worn. So I'm gonna put them in my donate box. If those were in better condition, I would definitely take those uh, to buy, sell, trade. Uh, probably consignment probably wouldn't take them or maybe even to flip. It's just, that's a brand I am super personally not interested in selling. All right, here is a pair of, they look like Lucky brand little booties. And other than the, rubber band marks, which I think I can rub out. They look to be in decent condition. These are a size eight and a half. So guys, I do pick up Lucky Brand if it's a style that I love. Uh, I feel like this is a style little booty that never goes out of style. Uh, and they are almost always, I don't know if I've ever came across of Lucky Brands that aren't real leather. So I will likely be listing these. In fact, I know I will. Just want to take a quick look here on their size eight and a half. These are my size. Oh my gosh, this is a pair. I actually, I could easily keep these, but I won't. So those will go in my listing pile. All right, here's a brand I have never heard of. A little bit of dust flying around in here. This is, let's see here, Mar, I'm not going to say this right. I thought it was something USA, but I think it's all one word. So there's a little bit of dust in here. I will show you guys that brand. I'll pop it up on the screen as well. These are quite beat up. The size nine. They, let's see here. Oh yeah, the insides of these, the footbed lining is all tore up. So I'm just gonna throw these in my donate box. All right, moving on, moving on. So I would say so far this box has been okay. I'm definitely not upset about it. I think it's met criteria, but it's just kind of okay so far. It started off really great. Uh, this is just a pair of, they're actually super cute, little pair of Urban Outfitters striped mules. 
So I don't sell this brand typically. These are size eight or 39 European. I will pop these in my box for someone else to potentially sell for me. All right, next up, next up. This is a pair of four, two, four, fifth, Lord and Taylor, Lord and Taylor. So Lord and Taylor is a brand I don't have a ton of experience with. These just look dusty. I'm trying to find the other one. They have more of these dang pink stickers. Oh my goodness. The pink stickers are overtaking. I mean, look at the bottom of these. How many, how many freaking stickers can you have on one item? All right, let me see here. These are size 10. They are a leather upper. They are, the name is on there too. It might be the Dina or something like that. I will further look and put on the screen. You know, since these are real leather, they're just a suede little booty. I actually think they're kind of cute. So I will just give them a good suede brushing. And I actually might consider listing these. Why not? All right. Let's see here. Little pair of loafers. Oh my gosh. Guys, seriously, look at this. <laughs> I would personally never run my business that way, but that's just me. Okay, the brand is Mansur Gabrielle. I might be saying that wrong. These look like they could be a designer. It says made in Italy, size 38 and a half, so like an eight, eight and a half. They are just dusty, but they are in overall great condition. They have leather soles. So I am actually going to do some research on these um, and give them a good wiping. Uh, and I'll pop information up on the screen. I mean, they need a really good wiping and it's not even the suede. There's like literally just dust all over these. So I will look those up and let you know what I find. Guys, it's another pair. And I say another, they weren't in this box. Oh my gosh, the rubber band stuck on the little turtle. It is a pair of uh, Havaneas, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's just a pair of flip flops. They are size seven slash eight in US. They have, they're actually cute. They have a dry, like a dragon print. And then they have like a little skull here. I believe this was the brand. I did pull some of these out of my previous boxes and people were like, no, you should list those. I mean, they seem like a basic flip flop. I'll probably pop them over in my research pile just to look them up again. But yeah, they look like something I'll either list or have somebody else sell for me. I definitely will not donate those. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is just a pair of Talbots. They are pretty beat up on the leather soles, guys. If they weren't, I would probably put them in my box of somebody else to sell for me. Guys, I can't fathom having another yard sale this year, but I made a killing in my last yard sale just selling items like this. Like they were definitely still wearable, but not maybe sellable on a platform or like in a buy sell trade. These are size nine. They are a fabric upper. Yeah, they do have a lot of wear. They're not worn down too bad, but I don't know. I think I'm going to put these, I think I'm going to put these in my donate box for now, but just because I haven't put a lot in there, I don't really feel too bad about it. Here is another pair of hot, well, let me see here. I think it's Oh, two lips, two lips, not hot lips. So I got this same exact pair in another box. And I can tell you guys, shockingly, they're real leather. They have the little rhinestone, so it's just a heel. And the other ones were also in new condition. So I look this brand up. I don't think it resells for much if my memory is serving me. But I will definitely put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. So, ooh, not sad about these. Hang on, guys, hang on. I mean, it's nothing that's like super hot designer. It's a pair of Uggs and they look like they're in great condition. So guys, it's a pair of Ugg slippers. Excellent condition here. They are, they look very small though. Maybe I'll save these for my son. Yeah, they're a US size four. Yeah, maybe I'll give these to my son. But for now, I'm going to put these in my listing box because yeah, a pair of Ugg slippers, amazing condition. That's great. All right. These boxes have been so random, haven't they? For anybody who has been watching, they've just been very random. It's like, Jomar, where do you get your stuff? I honestly have no clue. All right. This is a pair. It looks like they're leather uppers. I can say that. I can't read the brands. 
I can't read the brand to be honest here hold on Top Shop. They're only Top Shop. So nothing to write home about. Size 37 leather uppers. Uh, they look like they're a six and a half. So I will put these, they need a little bit of a suede brushing, but I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. That is just a Nordstrom house brand, I believe. So I'm not opposed to listing it. I just, it feels like something I want to put in that box. All right. This is the brand Lexi and Abby. Lexi and Abby, I have never heard of this brand. Perhaps you have. It's just a little pair of heels. And there's a bunch of dust in the bottom of this box, guys. I'm sorry. Um, just a little like red, maybe. No, they're red, not coral. There's some wear here. Just pair of heels. They definitely do not feel like real leather. Okay. And these are a size nine. It's the Fez is a style, F-E-Z. Because of this right here, if it wasn't like that, I would definitely take to like buy, sell, trade, but I'm not sure they're going to take it. I'm just not, and I'm not sure I can get that out or whether it's worth my time. So I am going to make the executive decision now. Well, you know what? I'm going to put in my research pile because the minute I put them in my donation bin, they be worth something, but I really, I'm 95% certain they're not. Uh, this is the brand Oak and Fort. I've never heard of this brand. Oak and Fort. Hmm. Looks like maybe they sold for 60 something dollars. Have you guys heard of that brand? They do not. They look textile. They don't look like they're worth anything. They definitely need a brushing. Just a little pair of flats. So I'm going to do my research and then pop those on the screen. A couple things to research from this thing, guys. Uh, like has been happening. I'll tell you, we're down to our last two pairs just in this box. We have two more boxes to go hang with me. The, somebody else will sell for me and the listing box are looking quite equal, which is an all right thing by me. This is a very dated pair of <laughs> Calvin Klein's. Uh, they do, I don't know if you can see this, they do have quite a bit of wear on the heels. They're like a platform heel. I think they're dated. I don't know. The, the soles don't look bad at all. I think they've been jostled around quite a bit because look at that like gash right there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw these in my donate bin. And this last pair, I think it's safe to say I will donate, is a pair of Steve Madden's. Whew, that is a heel, guys. That is a heel. They are probably real leather. They feel like suede. Uh, they are, let me see here if I can get the size in case anyone is interested. They are size 10. It is the style disobey. And yes, it is a leather upper. Yeah, because of the condition of these, I am going to throw these in my donate box. So guys, that is box one of three today. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into box two of three for this video. We are trucking along. Ooh, let's see here. I always love when I open a new box. It's kind of like Christmas. You just don't know what you're going to get. Especially with these boxes, I'm telling you. All right. Ooh, let's start with these titties. They are, they are floral and they are ba bow. It is a brand I have seen but never really looked into. It is Impo, I-M-P-O. And this is just a little wedge sandal. I see the other one. These are in really like new condition. They're in great condition. Zip ties flying everywhere. Uh, so they just tie around the ankle. I think they're super, super cute. I can never wear things like this, guys. I, okay, little fact about Nicole. I have cankles. <laughs> so anything that ties or is like an ankle strap, I just, I feel like I can never wear them, but I admire people who can. I am not familiar with this brand. I am going to put this in my pile to research. I will say I would love to photograph those. They look so incredibly fun. All right. Comfort Plus uh, by Predictions. These are just like a comfort heel snakeskin print. I am going to throw these in my box. Somebody else to sell for me because they are in that condition. All right. Rock and candy. Oh, 
I know exactly what I'm going to do for these. Well, maybe not because, okay, I'm seeing what is my, it's either my second or third unsalvageable pair, which I am saving. But guys, look, those are lifted up there. I could see how that might be missed or it might have happened in route. Maybe there were some heavy shoes on top. Um, so that pair is definitely not salvageable. I would not take that to Goodwill because nobody can really wear that, right? This next pair is a pair of Life Strides. They are brand new. The hardware is still covered. I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. It's a lovely comfort brand. It just doesn't resell or retail for much. And I actually used to wear this brand quite a bit. Now I wear more like birdies and stuff as my flats to work. So we'll put those in my somebody else can sell for me box. Here's a really cute pair of Eddie Bauer. They are they are pretty big. Uh, these are size 10. I know actually I don't know why I said these were cute. These are not cute. I, you know why I said they were cute? I love the color. Y'all know I love the color green. So it's just a size 10 pair of Eddie Bauer. I'll put them in my box for somebody else to sell for me. It's not a brand I am interested in selling. Tell me if you have a luck selling that brand. I would love to know. All right. This is a pair of aerosols. They are also in excellent condition, a size nine and a half. They're kind of a, not a fun style in my opinion. Just a little ballet flat, I guess. Should take it easy. Take it easy, Nicole. Anyways, I'll put this in my box of somebody else can sell for me. Guys, I'm noticing a theme with this one. You know, with my consignment store, I actually have another consignment appointment coming up on the 21st. I've had two so far. I've made a decent amount of sales. So, and I mentioned it, I think in my last video, they're giving me 50% for my sales, 50% of what they make. So I am not sad not having to list everything. So this is a size nine and a half. These are Sperry's. They're kind of cute. I kind of wish they were my size, but the one thing I will say here is that they are a little bit too worn in the soles for me to send to anybody else or for me to sell. So those can go in my donate box. All right, another comfort type sandal. That's what I'm noticing with this box, guys. It's more like comfort type shoes, which I do have a following. There is a need for them. This is Bass. So this is Sun Gen. So I feel like Bass & Co. has like all these offshoots. Uh, this is definitely a comfort sandal, but they are in excellent condition. Before I put them in my box of somebody else to uh, sell for me, I'm going to do some research because sometimes like I love selling Bionic, guys. Love, love, love selling Bionic. That is a comfort shoe as well. And sometimes they do sell for a decent amount. So, you know, I might not like the style. Others like the style. So... A good time for not all of us to be the same same with this this is a pair of clarks it is just a cute little i actually think these are cute cute little uh wedge sandal they have the cork on the bottom they look to be in excellent condition they're clarks so they're real leather i am 99 certain of that um i'm probably just gonna throw this in my box to list because i know that clarks you know you can sell them for 30 35 dollars it's an easy flip and they are in excellent condition i don't list all clarks sometimes there's no method to my madness it's typically not a brand i pick up at my goodwills but i was feeling those Okay, guys, here is a pair of J. Crews. They are regular J. Crew, not J. Crew Factory. They are a pair of loved. I would say they are loved because they are faded here. Yeah, they do have some fading. They are a size nine. I will see if I can give these a good suede brushing. If I can, they're leather lined, leather uppers. They're not leather soles. I'll see if I can give them some love and maybe they will get listed. Definitely, if they weren't in that condition, I'd be like 100% I'm listing them. All right, here is a pair of, I've never heard of this brand. It is Dragon. It's handcrafted in Madras. Madras? Never heard of that either. Uh, they are real leather soles. It's a size 38. So leather uppers, real leather soles. I'm going to put these in my pile to do some research on. All right. What we got here? These are all man-made. I can tell, but I have no clue what brand they are. So this is the brand Dream, Dream Pairs. 
they look to be in excellent condition. They just need a good wiping. I think they had rubber bands, so just a little rhinestone side zipper action black heel booty. So I'll put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. All right, this is a pair. Let me get the zip ties off. This is a pair of Chinese laundry. They are just a little black heel sandal. Uh, these are in pretty beat up condition, like the soles. They have a lot of marks. I don't know if you guys can see them, so I'm probably just gonna throw those in my donate box. All right, uh, cute little pair of Ann Taylor heels here. Take a good look at these. So these are a size six and a half. They have a leather upper, leather sole. Let's pull them apart. These are actually pretty cute. Uh, they are in decent condition too. So I will likely be listing these just because I like them. I think they're adorable. And like I said, leather uppers and leather lining. Why not? Why not? People started to go back in the office. Not all people, but some people. Surely is a different world than it was in 2019, isn't it? All right. These are cute in my opinion. Look at these little Franco Sordos. Look at them. Look at that little heel. Isn't that interesting? Little square toe, just a slide sandal, little, little heel there. These are, they are a leather upper. They are a seven medium. They're the Cruella. <laughs> which is interesting. Um, yeah, these are in new condition. I'm definitely going to list these just because they're adorable. Why not? See, there is always, there is always caveats, always caveats. All right. I'll never say never, barely ever. <laughs> All right. This is a cute little pair of Steven by Steve Madden, just a little black heel sandal. These are leather upper. They're the Fuji and yeah, they are size eight. So yeah, they're in pretty good condition. It looks like they came from a Goodwill at some point, but yeah, I will definitely list these. I think they're adorable. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there guys. This is a pair of Style & Co. They're just a fabric upper. They don't really do anything for me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm even gonna take these to buy, sell, trade, or anything like that, I will probably just donate those. Ooh, these are cute. This is an imitation of the Valentino rocks that I feel. I'm sure many have done that type of style. But this is just a pair of the INC International Concepts. It's just a little studded heel. They do have a little bit of wear. They're a size nine. Just a tiny little bit of wear on the heel cap there. So I will put these in my somebody else can sell for me box. Why not? All right, here is a pair of Aldo. I've noticed I've gotten quite a few pairs of those. These are made in Portugal. They're a size seven. They look like they could be real leather. They're in great condition. I think they're cute. Yeah, I actually think these are leather lining as well. So yeah, I will probably put these in my box to a list just because I think they're pretty timeless and cute and I think they are real leather. All those interesting. Sometimes they are real leather and sometimes they're not. It's a tricky one. Some brands like typically always are. Ooh, these are fun. And some brands are just not, or it's a mix. Okay, so this is a pair of J. Crew made in Italy. It is a, I think you would consider this maybe a gladiator sandal that would wrap up the ankle. So they're adorable. This, these are gonna be fun to photograph. Um, they're a size 10 leather upper, uh, leather insole, and the outsole is synthetic. So there is a, just a little bit of wear or I say a little bit of wear. There's wear on the soles, but they're not worn down. The heels are not worn down. So I check the ends of these. They look good. I will put these in my box to list. All right. I did get this pair in red in one of my last boxes. So this is the brand. I think you say it, Nina, New York. Uh, these also look in like new or new condition. 
I am just going to pop these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. My plan for the other pair, the red pair, is to take them to consignment. I'm not sure if they sell this brand, but it's kind of like the consignment vibe in my opinion. They're cute. Not my style, but they're cute. Oh my gosh, I swear I got these in a previous box too, guys. Lots of rubber bands in this one. Lots of rubber bands. All right, so this is a pair of Sam Edelman's. They desperately need a reshaping and a suede brushing. They are definitely worn, but they are a size eight. Let's see here. These might be a little bit too worn to do anything with. I'm noticing just a little bit of too much wear on the, um, the toes there. The heels are worn down a bit. What size are these? They're size eight. I actually might try to give these a suede brushing and see if I can salvage these for myself. I'm an eight and a half, so they may or may not fit. Pretty straight eight and a half. So we'll just set those aside for now. Here is, let me get zip ties off. This brand is, I have never heard of this. Labuco, L-A-B-U-C. Oh, I think, unless that's a Q. I'll have to look this up. They feel like all leather. The soles are definitely leather. They are made in Italy. They are definitely worn. Let's see here. Oh, this is unfortunate. So the little like elastic strap is really worn on these. So I'll look these up just for funsies, but I think that these are gonna have to go to Goodwill. They're gonna have to get donated. Oh, these do look like they're worth some money. That makes me pretty sad, pretty sad. Look at that, guys. I mean, they probably still function at least for a while, but I don't feel comfortable selling them. I am gonna look those up though. Sad moment. All right, next pair here is just a fun pair of Nine West. They look brand new. They are a wedge peak toe wedge these are a leather upper okay so this is an example I am probably going to sell these just because they are in like brand new condition and they're a fun popping yellow color so I will put those guys I have so many boxes for the spring and I'll kind of break that down for you guys in the end but there's definitely going to be a lot for the spring here which doesn't make me sad at all because I'm still listing I have a ton of winter stuff Stephanie Keelion, I think is how you say it. Oh, no, no, wait. There's no I in there. Stefan Kilian, Paris, made in France. Hmm. Doesn't necessarily always mean anything. They look like they have leather soles. They're size four and a half, so they are small. So these are actually in gently used condition. I will have to do some research on these, but it's just a little uh, navy blue suede sandal strappy sandal so never heard of that all right have heard of this it's just a basic pair of aerosols this is a size seven and a half i find this to be more of a comfort shoe i will definitely put this in the box for somebody else to sell for me we're rounding the last pairs in this box guys all right this is a pair of banana republic pumps they are size nine and a half they look like they just need a good brushing. Uh, these are a size, I already gave you the size, but I'm looking at real leather uppers, leather lining here. Um, I will probably put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me, but I could change my mind on that. Um, I might list them, I guess is what I'm saying, but for now, we'll put them in that box. It is another pair of aerosols, guys. <clears throat> These ones are more of like a metallic gray. These are also in, these are in a little bit more gently used condition, but still good condition. They have a fabric upper. I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. Oh, it's a little pair of J. Crew pumps. And I say little because they really do look pretty little. Uh, these are a size, actually they're a size six. They just look I think because they're higher, they look smaller than they are. It's a pair of patent pumps. They are dusty, so I'm going to have to do a wipe down to see what they are actually in. But the heel caps look gently used. They do still look sellable. So I'm going to put these in my listing box, and then we shall see if that's where they stay. All right. And then, guys, this is just a 
in my opinion, dated pair of Nine West. They're not in terrible condition, but there is quite a bit of wear on the lining. So because these don't excite me, I'm probably just going to put these in my donate box. And with that, guys, there's our second box of today. Box two of three. One more to go. All right, guys, let's do box number three. Let's do it. Keeping the momentum going. Oh, I see a pair of creepy balls. Love it when I see those, right? Let's let's just pull those out. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. It's a pair of free people slide sandals. Oh my god, they are in amazing condition. Amazing condition. Look at the look at the soles. Isn't that great? All right, redeeming. All right, so this is a size 40, so it's like a nine and a half or a ten. A really cute pair of free people slide sandals. So those will definitely go in my listing box. All right, another pair of Aldo, guys. Another pair of Aldo. These are just a snakeskin print pump. They are in very gently used condition. Borderline excellent. They are size seven and a half. These, I can't tell if they are real leather out of the gate. Uh, these will go in my box for somebody else to sell for me though, because they are in pretty good condition. All right. And guys, if you've ever taken anything to buy, sell, trade, or especially to consign, my stores are very, 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 very picky. So I'm also picky about what I will take. Guys, it's another pair of free people. They're just a pair of slide sandals. These are, let's see here. They are a leather lining, but the rest is man-made. They're made in Spain. So yes, I will definitely be listing these. These are a size, let's see here, does it say? I am not readily seeing the size on these. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look further, but I'm not sure what size these are. But another pair of free peoples. So those will go in my listing box. Don't mind that. All right, another pair of Clarks. I actually like these two, I think they're cute. They, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. So these are super cute and in excellent condition, but then on the, the soles are actually in excellent condition too, except for there's like a perfect circle hole there. And I just wonder if that's purposeful. I think I can still sell these. It doesn't go the whole way through. Just a cute little pair of wedge sandals. This is a size seven, a size seven. I mean, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta show you again, it's just a little circle hole. I don't know, it's like they came that way or something. All right, all right, let's keep going. I don't want to hurt anything here. Oh, it's a cute pair of Tom's booties. So I don't always pick up Tom's unless I can get them for the right cost of goods, but these are adorable. They're a little bit worn, but nothing too, too bad. I just got to cut. There's a little bit of string hanging off the thing there, but that's a little TLC I can easily give. So yeah, it's a little pair of Tom's booties. They do have the little embroidery up here. These are a size eight and a half. So yeah, I will probably pop these up in my Poshmark closet. Ugh. All right, sorry, everything's really mixed in here. I'm already looking around to see what else there is. Okay, this is just a really cheap pair of slide sandals. They are no brand. They feel like carpet, like one of those rugs that you would put like in your kitchen or outside. They feel like straw, not carpet. They feel like straw. So anyways, they feel like a rug is what they feel like. I'm gonna just pop those in my donate pile. All right, this is an interesting pair. Oh, this is a pair of Chinese laundry, which aren't really worth much, but I know my buy, sell, trade usually takes them. Um, these are in, I think, new condition. They are a size seven. So I'll pop these into my somebody else can sell for me box. Okay, this box is a little bit, it's getting a little better. I like the free peoples for sure. All right, this is a brand I've never heard of, 2G2G, like that. 
They do not feel like they are worth much, but like I said, I can always be wrong. They have this interesting brooch type thing right here, and then they are a strappy sandal. I'm trying to see if I can find more information. Yeah, I'm going to have to look these up because I think these are size seven. It's really interesting though. The um, size and the brand are carved in the bottom. So yeah, I don't know if these are worth anything. They, they're interesting, they're very unique. So I will be doing some research. I have a big research pile today, guys. <laughs> the last video I did not, and I was happy about it, but it's fine. I'll do the research and pop information on the screen. All right, this is a pair of Sam Edelman. Actually, it's Circus by Sam Edelman, so I know they are not real leather. Uh, they are just a little ballet flat with a bow. They are gold. They, are, they look new. I will pop these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. I do see those a lot in my buy sell trade. All right, these are made in Brazil. I can see that right away. Let's see here, just says sandals flats. These, I don't think they have a name. They just say made in Brazil, leather upper, size 11. They're in new condition. Yep, leather upper. I'll pop these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. Just a pair of strappy sandals. All right, let's keep going. We're truly getting towards the home stretch, guys. All right, so this is a pair of Sam Edelman. They are interesting. They are a platform heel. These are, let's see here. These are a size seven. They're the Novarto, I think. They are a leather upper, suede upper. They are in decent condition. They do have a leather sole. So I will probably put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. I do sell Sam Edelman. These just aren't really resonating with me that much. I I don't know. I could photograph these and, and be happy with it. I do like the lining. It is an animal print lining. So I'm going to put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me, but I might consider selling them. They are unique. At least unique for me. When I say unique, guys, I am like a plain Jane like wear black all the time. I, I'm a plain Jane, let's be real. So it doesn't take much to be unique for me. All right, here's another pair of carpet sandals. <laughs> Just like all these straw carpet sandals. Wait, they do have a brand. <gasps> Guys, these are free people. Not that I'm gonna get a ton for them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Those have a little, I swear these are the same too. <gasps> they are. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh, the straw carpet sandals that I was talking about are actually free people. So I should probably uh, maybe take the time to list these. We'll see. If not, they'll definitely go to buy, sell, trade. I'm so glad that I noticed that. Look, guys, it's just a little thing on the side. But yeah, they are like li literally like a styrofoam sandal. So I'll put these in my listing box, um, but I'll do more research to make sure they're worth my time to put up. Who knows? I could be surprised, but thank God I had another pair of those, right guys? Oh my gosh, hot mess over here. Who knows what I've donated? You guys know I get a lot of shoes. Okay, this is the brand Hinge. They do have a leather upper. I have looked and these do not have a great resale value, at least from my memory. Um, these are in great condition. They are like a trendy style. They have a back zip, like I said, suede upper. So I will put these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. Seems to be a trend with this one, guys, with this filming day is my, somebody else will sell for me box is quite full. And I have to say, I, I, I really do not mind. I really do not mind. All right, let's see here. This is the brand Bas Basibo, made in France. I have never heard of it. I will show you and I will pop it up on the screen. They feel pretty light and cheap, but I could be wrong. So this is a brand I will have to look up. Let me find the other one. If they're in gently used condition, they're pretty dirty. They, this actually feels like real wood. So I will I will do some research and look these up. Let's see if I can find the size for you. They're size 38, so like a seven and a half, eight. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? Okay, let's pull these out. I believe these are a pair of Madewells. 
and they need a good suede brushing. But I need to look at the condition. Let's see here. So these are made in Brazil. They're a size seven. They literally need roller brushed and suede brushed. Um, they are in gently used condition. Guys, these have, I forget what these are called, but you can buy these on Amazon and put them on. They're to help with the heel, to keep the heel from wearing down. And guys, the heel on these is worn down a little bit. The soles are still in pretty good condition though. I have sold shoes with this on with no problem. I'm probably not going to get too much for these, but I will probably still try to list them because they're real suede. They're made wells and I would say they are in sellable condition. So they just need a little bit of TLC, I believe, a little bit of TLC. All right, here's a pair. <laughs> we have a Nordstrom House brand. I, be I believe, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Leaf, L-E-I-T-H. I might be wrong that it's a Nordstrom House brand, but all man-made material. They are like a jelly sandal. If you love purple, these would be really cool. Like I said, I'm more of like a like a black neutral type person. So I'm gonna pop these in my box for somebody else to sell for me. They are a little bit more beat up than I originally saw, but we'll leave them in there for now just to see what we can do with them. All right, here is a cute pair of Vince Camuto. It is just a little ankle strap sandal. These are a size 10. So, yep, I will probably just pop these into my box for somebody else to sell for me. And guys, I'm going to have to start a pile on the floor, which hasn't been super atypical throughout this series <laughs> for that pile. Uh, guys, this is a little bit of a dated pair of Banana Republic. They do have a bit of wear on them. Uh, they do have leather soles. They're size 9. Um, I'm probably going to pop these into my donation box just because of the style and the condition. All right, here is a little pair of bootes. This is Kenneth Cole. It's a brand I don't typically pick up. If these were in excellent condition, I actually might consider listing them because they're probably real leather, but these are pretty dang beat up. I mean, even beyond magic eraser help in my opinion so i'm probably gonna put these in my donation box you guys back when i first started reselling i would have totally taken the time to put a bunch of elbow grease but i was buying much smaller quantities and i was just at a different place in my reselling business so if you're still doing that that is great i did that for at least a year cleaned up everything repaired everything i got really good at repairing shoes i'm just at a different phase in my life right now where I, I just don't have enough time in the day to make things work and maybe you can resonate with me on that this is a pair of chinese laundry they are just a little block heel. They're size eight and a half. They are gently used here. There is just a little bit of dirt here. You know, these are actually pretty, they're pretty, they're a little more funky than I originally noticed when I pulled them out. So I'm probably just going to put these in my donate box. All right. What do we have here? All right. Let's see. This is a pair of Arizona. These are also pretty dirty. This is not a brand I typically sell. Maybe this is like a JCPenney's brand. Nothing against that, it's just not a brand I resell. Pretty dirty and funky. So I'm gonna put these in my donate pile. This box is definitely added to that pile. It's not a terrible thing. This is a pair of Abound, which I am pretty certain is a Nordstrom House brand as well. Um, I think these are just have a little bit of dust to the point where I would be willing to take a magic eraser. Um, I'm pretty sure one of my buy sell trades will take these. They're in pretty decent condition. All right, I need to find out what these are. I've been eyeing them up. One second, please. Let's see here. It's a little booty, metallic booty. Let's see. I cannot see a brand on these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Call it Spring. Call it Spring. That is a decent brand, I think. They're generally real leather. Let's see here. These are a size 8. I feel like these need a good wipe down. I am going to have to do more research to figure out if these will be worth my time to list, but I do think they're a trendy style. Nice chunky heel there. They're cut out metallic and I'm pretty sure they are real leather. So 
yeah nope actually i'm not sure they are real leather i'll have to do some further research into these all right Let's see here a couple more pairs oh oh i wish those were cleaner here i'm gonna pull these out so you're not wondering what i'm talking about this makes me pretty sad this pair this is a pair of madewells guys these have seen better days unfortunately they're super cute um but they're pretty beat up and they're eight and a half i love selling madewells like this they're always leather leather lining um, sometimes leather soles. These don't look like they do, but yeah, these are pretty beat up. So they will go in my donate pile. And here is a pair of Cole Hans. They are just a, a little, a little pump action. They're in decent condition. They're not in bad condition. They have the little um, cat toe there. They are for certain real leather. I don't even have to look. Let's see here. They're a size seven and a half. So I'll probably give these a little bit of a weight down and I might even take these to more like a consignment. Kind of feeling it for those. Like I said, I have an appointment on the 21st. These here are CG, I think is the brand, but they are pretty, pretty, uh, in need of some TLC. I don't think these are gonna be worth it for me to sell. They're a size 10, so I will put these in my donate pile. And last pair, guys, apartment nine, nothing to write home about. They're just a wedge heel synthetic. Um, I'm probably just gonna put these in my donate pile. So we started off with a bang with this box and kind of ended with a all right, but that is box number three of today. Okay, so we got through the three boxes. Now I'm going to go around and just show you guys the distribution of the different bins. So I'll take you guys first to my somebody else will sell for me. So this would be flip, consignment, buy, sell, trade. Guys, like we've seen with a trend throughout this video series, it is overflowing onto the ground, which is not a bad thing. There's still a way to make money without directly listing things, especially Especially because remember I got these shoes for two dollars and fifty eight cents per piece moving on to my listing bin so out of the four videos that I've done I would say this is pretty on par with what I've seen there might be a couple less pairs uh, to list out of this haul but I'm not super sad about it I am excited about some of the pairs I got I got quite a few free people today and just some things that made me excited but today was an okay day for the items I will list and you guys will see at the end I have I'm gonna show you at the end how many big boxes I have to list and you're probably going to be blown away. You've been seeing things in little snippets, but I will have plenty to list out of this order just as a little uh, sneak peek into that. And then guys, my research pile ended up being way bigger than it was with the last video. And so you guys will know by the time I'm showing you this pile, what I'm doing with what, but I had a lot to look into today. And then we'll go to the donation bin. Guys, yes, it is full today, but what I will say for anybody who's been been watching this series it has been about one bin going to a donation per video so not atypical I think that last box really uh, filled this <laughs> a little bit more so overall I continue to be okay and pleased with this order I would say that all shoes except for maybe one or two pairs met the criteria that was listed in the details when I went to purchase this order and I would say you know just looking around my room I can see the bins that I do plan to list like I said guys in the last video I'm going to show that to you I feel like I'm doing all right, I am definitely not sad about this order yet. And guys, next week we have two more boxes to uh, reveal. And then, like I said, I'm gonna go into the full summary. So I'm super excited about that. Like always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. How do you think it's going? I love it when you guys share information with me. Sometimes I'll throw stuff in the donation bin and you guys will be like, no, don't throw that in there. And I love it and I'm so grateful. So please don't 
don't hold back in sharing your feedback. And remember, if you are taking the plunge and want to try Jomar for the first time, use my code soulinspired and you'll get 10% off that first order. Guys, it has been absolutely great to be on this journey with you. I am so excited for, it'll either be next week or the week after. I, I might put a what's sold in there just to keep you guys waiting and give me time to really go through this whole order in the entirety to make sure I'm giving you guys a thorough summary. But the last video is coming soon and I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are as well. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll be seeing you soon.